Good Sunday afternoon, friends. Come on in. Take off your shoes. Have a seat. Let's make soup. We are going to, now we call this hamburger soup, but it's actually hamburger vegetable soup. Now, the first time I ever had a hamburger and vegetable soup was at my mother-in-law's, and I was like, this is fabulous. I've been making it that way ever since. Growing up, dad always used a beef roast, so, but I like the hamburger in it. So, I had a hamburger in the freezer, so hamburger it is. I've got about three pounds of ground beef in my slow cooker. Everybody's schedule is weird today. There's a lot going on, so I'm doing this in the slow cooker. It'll be hot all day, and everybody can come and just eat when they come home, whatever. So, now, I've got the ground beef in here, and I've salted this. I cooked this yesterday before I went to work and put it in the fridge, so it was one less step because I've had a to-do list today a mile long, and I've been cleaning and working and doing stuff all day. So, let's go in with our spices. We've got some black pepper. I've got some onion powder. We're going to do some celery salt. Now, this is what I like to do. But, I mean, you can do what you want. Use the spices that you like, that your family likes. A little bit of granulated garlic. And then we've got some cumin. I like to add cumin to soups. Great way to get that in there. And some turmeric. I know I say that wrong. And then that Dano's, um, their original seasoning. It's kind of got a mix of everything. So there's our seasonings. Okay, just gonna stir that in. Now, since you all know we're not eating potatoes, and if you're new here and you don't know that, we're not eating potatoes right now at my house. Um, we kind of do a food elimination type diet, uh, things that were flaring at my husband. Potatoes was one of those. So, in place of potatoes, I am using cauliflower. Now, I love cauliflower in soup. I just steamed this for just a few minutes to, you know, and it was frozen, to unfreeze it. So, just a bag, 12-ounce bag of cauliflower. You could chop it smaller if you want. Put that right in. Now, I'm going to add in, I've got four cans of mixed vegetable medley. Broth and all. Now, if you want, you can buy frozen vegetables. You can use fresh vegetables. But this is a Sunday here that I am super busy. So, canned it is. I personally like canned vegetables. I like frozen and I like fresh. So, get that in the mix here really quickly. All right, last can, four cans. Now, I'm making a huge pot. Hoping to have leftovers for Lena to take to work for her tomorrow. There we go. Now, one can, I know it's weird, but do it one can of tomato soup. Now, growing up, my dad always put tomato sauce in his vegetable soup. But uh, when I was younger, tomato sauce and my stomach did not agree. So when I moved out and got married, I always put just beef broth in there because I didn't, like I said, I didn't want tomato sauce in there or tomato juice. I could probably handle it now. Now, speaking of beef broth, beef broth, this is a... 32 ounce box here. And I forgot something. Okay, I gotta get out my Worcestershire sauce and let Harper out because clearly he wants to bark. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We've got all of that in there. Now I'm gonna add some, I had some chopped onions in the freezer. If you don't like onions, don't put them in. Probably half a cup of those frozen chopped in. I told you, I'm taking shortcuts today. There we go. Let me tell you what else I did. I took a shower this morning and put on clean pajama pants. That's what kind of day it is. Now, I have been cleaning since about 7 o'clock this morning. I've done laundry and I cleaned my pantry. There was a whole list of things. I wanted to clean my patio and fill my bird feeders. You know, the kind of stuff that you don't always have time to do. That's what I've been doing. So, this quick soup is right to the ticket for today. Now, I forgot the Worcestershire. This is the last. Trust me, you want to add this. About three or four tablespoons, okay? That's it. Now, we're going to add some water. Now, if you don't want to add water, I like to add water just to 
cut down the uh, beef broth just a little bit. You could add more beef broth, you add chicken broth, vegetable broth, whatever. I've got about two cups of water here. Probably only gonna add a cup. Okay, so I added a cup and a half of water. All right. Now, you can thin it down more. If you want more broth, looks like I want more broth. Look at that big baby. We'll grab a little bit more beef broth. Should put my apron. I'll add in the rest of the water. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna set this on high on my um, slow cooker and let it do its job. Since the ground beef's already Probably. cooked and the vegetables already cooked, it won't take long. We just need to heat it up and let everything um, hang out together. So I'll be back tonight and show you uh, what it looks like for dinner. I wanna come back really quickly and let you know. On high for an hour and a half, that should give it perfect time since everything is cooked. Now, if you're using raw fresh vegetables, of course it's gonna take a little bit longer. So you could start it first thing in the morning, three or four hours and let it go. Or you could do the shortcut route like me. Use everything from a can. Shh. It's all right. It's all right. So here it is, friends. That quick and easy Sunday hamburger vegetable soup. Now, I've kept it in the slow cooker on warm all day. So whenever anyone's ready, they can grab them a bowl. I like to serve um, crackers, cheese cubes, and sweet pickles on the side. I don't know what it is about the combo, but it is so good. So thanks for hanging out with me on this Sunday. Hope you have a great day. And I hope you make you some soup. Bye, friends.